I first heard Tracy tell her story when my daughter was graduating from elementary school. And uh, uh, fortunately for me, this year the school did something rather different. They had a guest speaker and that guest speaker was, was Tracy, who was there to talk to these 11 year olds. <laughs> and uh, uh, the minute she started to tell her story, I was gripped. I was on the front of my seat. It was turning out to be a rather more interesting evening than I'd anticipated. Normally there's a lot of singing and a lot of uh, giving out of certificates and some clapping, but uh, uh, Tracy's story was just uh, astonishing. And I could tell that she was a remarkable character in herself. And I went up to her afterwards and said, uh, has anybody ever turned your story into a film? Because I think it's incredible and it's a story as many people as possible should hear. I assumed that we would be talking about a, a narrative film. A lot of the uh, action uh, takes place at sea, a long way from uh, land. Um, but then Tracy made the opposite assumption because she, of course, knew that they'd had a camera on board the whole way around uh, and recorded the entire trip. And there was this amazing footage. So when I discovered that, it seemed to, that to make a documentary about this was the obvious choice. I, I've been sailing for quite a while before that, so from, a, sort of a, from the age of 17. And I was lucky enough to get on a Whitbread Round the World race boat uh, when I was 21. Um, and it was a, a, um, a, a boat sailing around the world with 17 men. So I loved the sailing, the sailing was great, but 17 men, you know, it's smelly, it's noisy. Um, so we got to the end and I thought, wow, why aren't more women doing this amazing thing? It's just, it's so much fun. So I spoke to some people, I spoke to the guys on the boat actually, and they said, yeah, if anyone's gonna do it, we think it would be you. So I was like, uh, okay. Spoke to my mum. She said, well, you've never suck at anything in your entire life, but I guess if you want to do it, you will. Um, and then, you know, sort of really went uh, to town, sort of putting the boat together and the crew, but then of course ran into stiff opposition from all of the sailing world, well, mostly all. And um, just some really unlikely anger at a bunch of girls wanting to sail around the world. And I always used to say, well, if, you know, if we die, it's it's our fault, you know, it's um, but we did have this amazing pushback. And that's really the first time in my life that I realised that there was a, such a thing as sexism and misogyny because I'd never come across it before. And and here I was, you know, sort of fighting a fight that I, I never realised I would have. Um, but it felt important, so we kept going. Especially in England at the time, feminism was, oh no, not a feminism, not a, not a feminist. And, you know, we, we had all these labels attributed to us and I said but we are just sailors who want to sail around the world we happen to be girls but then of course when everything kicked off and it was really doing the documentary with new black films that I remembered um the moment when I thought I am a feminist oh my goodness oh I'm a big 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 feminist mm -hmm. and you know and it was like a coming out mm -hmm. and I think it was something we all embraced and then I look at my daughter's generation and of course women have turned feminism back into what it should be, which is equality. Well, I was struck when I first heard Tracy tell the story that uh, I felt I still had to have conversations with my daughters uh, about raising their sights, about following their, the, the, their ambitions to the fullest of their extent, that I didn't feel I had to have those conversations with my son. Uh, and it shocked me when I heard Tracy's story to realize how actually how little had changed. It had maybe changed, it had become more, uh, you know, a little bit more hidden, but but actually there, I felt there were still barriers there that my daughters faced that my son wouldn't face. And so it just struck me that, that this was a, a, a really important story to tell, uh, you know, in, in 2019, that this was a message that as many people needed to hear as possible. Uh, and I just hope that people find inspiration and that they can follow their dreams and, and try and Put, put their all into something in the hope that they'll, they'll achieve something in the way that Tracy did. Mm -hmm.